So we are having our lunch at the Avalon Diner and I cannot wait until I get my food because I was hungry. <laughs> Hopefully my daughter will come over so y'all get a chance to see her. I don't look as bad as I did yesterday, but yeah, I'm, I'm still, believe it or not, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm not 100% awake. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll bring you back to see what we order. We gonna see what we order, baby. <laughs> Traditional chicken and waffle. He got chicken and waffle. <laughs> okay. You got it on that. We got it taking your 24 hours. Hey, yeah, chicken and waffle. Chicken and waffles. All right, and I got some fully loaded ranchero potatoes. Never had that before. Never heard of it before. But we're gonna see what it is. Ain't no beans in it though. No, they got no huevos ranchero. She just got ranchero. No, it's ranchero potatoes, hash browns, and mushrooms, and onions, and all that good old stuff. So anyway, we'll be back. Bye. Hey, baby. Yeah, she gonna be in my vlog today. Mm -hmm. Is your is your Arnold Palmer good? Yep. <laughs> real good. Real, real good. <laughs> real, real good. This day, it is one of the best I've had. That's cool. So today we are. Hold that up for me, baby. We are filming from <laughs> Avalon Diner. This is where my daughter works. And we are having some... What time is it, baby? Oh, so we, we officially in lunch mode. We in lunch? No, brunch is over. Hey, everybody. So, my mom today, I woke up feeling kind of yucky. And it was just not going to happen. Uh, I just don't feel good. I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, I have a couple things I need to do. Um, and I just need to go do it. Got a couple bills I have to pay. And the only way to get them paid is to leave the house. So, I'm about to go do that. And I'll catch up with you later. Um, I've had my morning coffee. Um... I haven't had breakfast yet. I really want to go lay back down, but I just have too many things to do. So, I'm off to doing them. Bye. <laughs> This is my grandson, Javon. Say hey, Javon. 
Hi. And we are about to head out to a surprise location and get him a little surprise. And we will check back in a little later. It, it's a secret. It's a secret. That's right. Bye. Say bye, Javon. Bye. <laughs> So we are headed to the ride. store. So you see him? Uh-huh. He been talking non-stop. <laughs> he say, step on the crack, break your mama back. I ain't heard that in I don't know how long, but we ain't gonna talk about how old I am. <laughs> Madison class of 1987. Where you at? Bye. So we went and got him a coloring book and excited about that and we're over here by the bank come here and he's excited about the, the water you see that you like the water over there Javon yes no we can't take a closer look come here we take we can't take a closer look because we're not supposed to be over there. You're my baby. What does the water lead to? It just keeps going around and around in a circle. And they didn't even know. Do you know, it, what, have you ever heard the word recycle? Yeah. What does that mean? When you use something over and over? Yeah. Yes, over and over again. Yeah, that's right. You're a smart young man. Uh -huh. That's exactly what that means. The water is recycling, which means that it's just going around and around. It's, it's using the same water all over and over again. You like that? that? Nasty water. Yeah, it's nasty water. It's a little dirty, but it has fish in there. You can't see that though. Oh, I saw one. Do you see them? I saw one. You see the color? Yeah. What color is that? Orange. That's right. I'm gonna go with it. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Come on. That's right, So, can you sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? All right, that sounds like a big boy. Sound like you learning a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's. We're at the same place. Are we going in there? No, we're not going in there today, but we'll go in there one day soon. Cause like I told you, they have a little daycare. So while I'm working out, you'll be able to go in the daycare and play with the other kids. You okay? Yeah. Come on, come this way. So, for those of y'all who don't know, my baby has sickle cell, but him's a big boy, huh? Mm -hmm. That's right. Do you? Can you tell the people what sickle cell is? Sickle cell is where you get a shot. Where you get a what? Shot. You get a shot? So, he's still learning. He's only... How old are you? Five. Oh, my gosh. I thought you was 25. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, okay, quit, quit trying to pull my leg. So, those of you who don't know what sickle cell is, um, it is definitely a condition, a disease that afflicts um, a huge population of the African American people. Um, your red blood cells turn into a sickle shape, which causes uh, an enormous amount of pain and um it is definitely not a disease that you can catch it is not something that you develop it is something that you're born with um i have a sister-in-law who has been living with sickle cell she is a year older than i am and that means she real oh y'all nah 
Love you, Hattie. <laughs> not like old, like an old man. No, not like old, like an old man. But uh, even in his case, he has to get blood transfusions and stuff like that too as a preventative measure and basically the purpose of the blood transfusion is to saturate his his uh, blood with uh, healthy red cells so that he has a, a less of a chance to have a crisis and they have all kinds of experimental medication out and a lot of different um, supplements and stuff that that they can take it'll never get rid of sickle cell but uh, it will definitely ease their ease their suffering so if you want to learn more about sickle cell um, even if you're a person who does not I, I, ha, I have a trait have the trait my husband has a trait my son has the trait huh? Javon's mommy has okay. the trait That's all. and um, oh. which is why it skipped a generation when I had my children but um, he, my son wind up having Javon who has the disease so he is going to live to be a very healthy mature man we proclaim that in the name of Jesus because sickle cell will not defeat this family in any way shape form or fashion and my sister-in-law my sister Hattie is proof of that she's been with us for quite some time and she's going to continue to be with us Hallelujah. So, um, go to sick, the Sickle Cell Foundation. Um, you can Google their information and learn more about Sickle Cell. Learn more. You can also learn about um, the Sickle Cell trait. And the reason that you want to learn about this disease is because there is. Um, a way for you to make a donation. You can support uh, the foundation by volunteering your time. Um, there's just a lot of things that you could do to help, you know, people who suffer from this disease. And they, you can't look at somebody and tell that they have sickle cell, just like you can't always look and tell, you know, people who have other diseases or physical ailments like AIDS and cancer and things like that so sometimes the telltale signs are not always there immediately sometimes it you know it takes a while before people are aware that you know something is going on health wise with with someone if you have a loved one who suffers from sickle cell or have the disease I'm sorry or have the trait you know make sure that you spending time with them and you know, because when they have a crisis, you know, it could be as bad as them needing help with bathing or, you know, simply going to the grocery store for them or, you know, doing their laundry or whatever. Make sure that you demonstrate your love in action. Love is an action, action word. And watch out, baby, you're going to fall over. And um, a lot of people hollering about, oh, I love you, I love you, but they ain't doing jack. And I'm just going to leave it right there. So love your people today yesterday and tomorrow love them love on them as hard as you can see y'all later hey everybody standing out here in this beautiful weather just got back to the house and um, we tried to take my baby to go see boss baby don't really know what the whole lot I don't know anything about that movie I just know his mom said that that um, he wanted to see it. I got my laundry laid out so I can go ahead and take care of it. And I was in there um, kind of putting my uh, clips and everything together and I realized that I was missing a piece. So anyway, we got ready to take him to see the movie and the time that the movie was advertised on the internet is completely different. It was advertised for 2.30 and we got there and the movie don't even didn't even start until 4.45 so I was a little perturbed so we went to IHOP and ate and you know, came on back to the house. I am spent. I'm tired. That heat, between the heat and a five-year-old, I'm a little burned out. So go ahead and get my laundry done and compile this vlog. And I know it's pretty early, but um, probably going to end it here. Y'all have a good night.
even though it's in the middle of the day. Bye, y'all. I was, oh, I'll just get another one. I have not been able to find it. Oh.